here we are in Egan, Minnesota, where Rhinotech does all its manufacturing and distribution. Um, we're also where we seem to shoot most of our videos. Occasionally we do a little down in our corporate office in Sarasota, Florida. I um, want to do a little video on single step with foil. We've done one of these before, but I thought it might be good to bring an update. Um, single step is available in two different sizes, an 8.5 by 11 and an 11.17. It is a laser paper. Um, we can print these with the C831 uh, TSO key if we don't have white in the design, um, such as this particular design right here. The other is would be our 711WT or the 920WT, which are Okies, um, and they both have a white toner cartridge, so you can put white down onto dark garments. But with single step, we're, we're only looking at light colored garments. So, we have our print, we have a, a uh, Bella uh, shirt that we're going to use today. And we're going to get this in position, excuse my back, okay. Now I like to use some parchment on top of this and what I'm going to do first is simply press it for somewhere between 5 and 10 seconds. I want to make sure that I'm getting the um, moisture and any wrinkles out of the shirt. We're looking at medium pressure. There we go. Take these off for a second. And again, this is our design. So we're going to put it in position. Put my parchment paper back over it. Some people don't use parchment. I do. I just like to get into the habit. So just in case I have something on the top of my bed that would uh, transfer, I don't want to ruin a shirt doing that. And what we're going to be doing is a 25 second press. It's at 330 degrees. We're utilizing medium pressure. This is also a hot peel. So virtually by the time we open it, get the, the parchment off, we're going to do our peel. And when you're peeling, you don't want to peel like this. You want to roll it back against the grain. Just like that. Get it down here. And we roll it back against the grain. As you can see, everything that was on that piece of paper is transferred. And we now have our shirt. Of course, this is this is great the way it is, but what we're going to do is actually do an all-over foil um, with a little twist to it. So let me get this back down. Okay. So what I'm going to do is take a silver foil and put it over the entire surface. But what I like to do is take the, the foil and wad it into a ball, roll it around, and then put it down. So what's happening, which I did before, is it gets really crinkly and I lose parts of the foil. So what should happen is that the colors now will transfer through those areas, giving it a little bit of a different look. So let's see what we come up with. Put that down. In position, put my parchment down again, and we're going to press. Now this also is at 330 degrees in 25 seconds, so it makes it nice and simple, no waiting, no changing, no adjusting type of thing. Now the one thing with foil is that once you've done this, you want to take it, set it aside for a few moments, a few minutes, just let it cool down to the touch, and at that point you peel your foil off. Everywhere there was toner, the foil will stick to. So we have that. I think I'll take it off this hard, or hot, not hard. And we'll just simply lay it over here for a moment. And then we'll do our peel. And again, um, we're using the uh, Hicks Swingman. We did it at 330, 25 seconds for the color print. 
3.30, 25 seconds for the foil. And remember that foil comes in a wide, wide range of colors. Um, you know, silvers, blues, golds, coppers, and so on and so forth. Um, it's a 12-inch roll, 200 feet long. It's about $30 worth of material, and you're putting pennies onto a shirt. Absolutely, just pennies. It only takes a little bit of time, gives it a whole different feel and a different look. And this is cool enough now so we can do our, our feel. How do you like that? Now that is cool. Now what I'm going to do again is give it that one more press. Just over the image area. That's all I'm concerned with, really. And I'm doing that because when I'm peeling up against the grain like this, I like to make sure that I'm going to have a good bond and I'm not going to have any trouble in the washing cycle. And the single step is excellent in the wash, and uh, so is this foil. So we'll just give it approximately a 10 second press, take our parchment off, and we're ready to go. Now that is a great looking shirt. Keep in mind that the foil was pennies, only pennies. And when you wrinkle it up like that, we get all those colors to come through, which is fantastic. So I'm going to be able to charge at least $2 more for this shirt because I put a couple of cents worth of foil on top of it. Single step with foil, simple, easy, fast, a real money maker. Thanks for watching. You know where to find us. And until next time. Okay, I didn't leave right away. I just wanted to have the two shirts, one with only the, with only the um, image on it, the single step image, and then the other one with the foil on it, so that you could get the, get the, the real effect of the differences between these two. Again, just single step, single step with foil, pennies worth of foil, in my opinion, dollars more worth the profit. But a different look, and they're both fantastic. Again, you know where to find us. Until next time.